Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to give you my review on the graphic novel The High Republic The Age of Balance Book 1. This is a black and white graphic novel written by Shim Zia and Justina Ireland. Art by Mizuki Sakabara. This graphic novel seems to be just after the events of the of the novel Light of the Jedi and seems also to be set during the High Republic comics which introduced the, the Drenger, living plants that view all life as food. The description of the graphic novel is as follows. The galaxy celebrates with the dark days of the hyperspace disaster behind him. Chancellor Lena Zhu pushes ahead with the latest of her great works. The Republic Fair will be her finest hour. A celebration of peace, unity and hope on the frontier world of Valo. But an insatiable horror appears on the horizon. One by one, planets fall as the carnivorous Drenger consume all life in their path. As Jedi Master Avar Chris leads the battle against this terror, Nihil forces gather in secret for the next stage of Marquion's Rose diabolical plan. Only the noble Jedi Knights stand in Rose's way, but even the protectors of light and life are not prepared for the terrible darkness that lies ahead. The graphic novel opens very much like the two books, Light of the Jedi and Into the Dark, where we see the hyperspace disaster and the destruction of Taikaya. The Jedi come to help them the best they could. Those refugees that survive are taken to the world called Banshee. The story evolves around Jedi's name Lily and her Padawan Kirin, and two younglings Vivnia and Nima, and, the, and Jedi Masters the Wookiee Arkoff and the human by the name of Stillen. They are also a Jedi, there is also a Jedi temple on the planet. As the story unfolds, we find the things are not all as it seems on the planet. It appears that the Drengir also on the is also on the planet and start attacking some of the farming settlers near the Jedi temple. The Jedi are sent to investigate. They send Lily, or Padawan, and the two younglings. The two Jedi find a Drengar rampaging through the village, devouring villages. Others have been turned into wood, while Ruru and Master Arkov usher the colonists inside the Jedi Temple. Nima and Vivnia arrive and inform the older Jedi of the new threat rampaging through the forest and farms. When Vivnia and Nima volunteer to help, Arkov assigns them to the with shepherding the injured into the infirmary. They offer their services to Dr. Sillar, who, who accepts their help. Drengar grabs Kirin with one of its appendages, but Lily uses the force to free him. The two are aided by Master Arkov, who uses his lightsaber to hack at its appendages. Lily tells Arkov that they followed the Drengar from the forest, but believe that it is not native to Banshee. She also senses a dark side presence in the Dringer. The Dringer is also capable of regenerating itself. Meanwhile, the second Dringer attacks the Jedi Temple, bursting through the ceilings and startling Vivnia, Nima and the colonists. While the, other while the older Jedi fight the first Dringer, Lily and Kareen hear the screams from the Jedi Temple and head back to defend the occupants. Back at the temple, Nima and Vivnia attempt to fight off the Dringer. However, Dr. Sillar attempts to protect the younglings and confronts the Dringer. As Vivnia calls Master Lily for help through the force, the Jedi Knight intervenes and slices off the second Dringer's appendages, saving Sillar and the younglings. With the Dringer able to regenerate quickly, Lily instructs Vivnia and Nima to bring the civilians to the back of the temple while she and Kareen try to lure the creature out. Lily uses herself as bait to draw the Dringer out of the temple they soon join Arkov and Ruru, who are locked in combat against the Drenger. Though the two manage to cut off their Drenger in half, the pieces regenerate into more Drenger. Unable to wound or reason with the creatures, Lily decides that they must be destroyed in order to protect the civilians. She convinces the other, Arkov and Ruru, to drive the Drenger to the, to the space in front of the lake, while she and Kareen prepare several oil canisters. Once the Dringer arrives, Lily uses the force to splash oil onto the creatures. With her, at her signal, Green uses them, sets them alight with a torch. The Dringer are soon engulfed in flames. After Arkov and Ruru arrive, the four Jedi combined their force powers to generate a fiery whirlwind 
around the drinker, destroying the creatures. Lily senses a disturbance in the force on Lalo, but decides that she needs to attend to the civilians, Vivnia and Nima. Lily believes that the Dringer were introduced to Banshee recently due to the recent Takla resettling. She wonders if Mr. Kuba could have brought them in that container. Sila agrees and thinks that he transformed earlier due to his exposure to the spores. Sylar recalls that Kuba said that he had received the container from someone before Lily before. Lily speculates that the person was using Mr. Kuba to plant the Drenger on Banshee. Given the recent alliance between the Nihal and the Drenger on Valo, Lily wonders if Nihil are already present on Banshee. While Kirin and Lily want to want to alert the Han Talos Temple, Ruru consult, counsels her fellow Jedi to get all the facts before acting. While Ruru suggests alerting Master Arkoff, Lily suggests alerting Starlight Beacon and says they must be ready. Later in the book, the infiltrator is revealed, but I won't reveal that here to you. You'll have to read the graphic novel yourself. Overall, it's very similar to the comics, but obviously set in the pla on the planet Banshee instead of Valo. The second graphic novel is due out towards the end of June, so we'll look out for, for that and we'll also give my review on that when it arrives. The graphic style of this book is very similar to those of anime. The style seems to be very similar to the Star Wars Vision episode Lop and Ochi. You can also see my review on that in the Star Wars Vision playlist on my channel. I find the graphic novel interesting, but I didn't find it exciting. I read The Light of the Jedi book, which I did enjoy, apart from nearly every chapter on the book the Jedi kept saying we are all the Republic, which tended to get on my nerves after a while, but thankfully Into the Dark novel didn't do that. Overall, my rating of this book, I would give it 3 out of 5. We will see if book 2 will improve on that. There is also a bonus chapter at the end of the book, which is, in my opinion, a bit meh, to be honest. Well, that's all for now. Please give a like, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell in order to be notified of my upcoming videos and also my live, live game streaming. Until the next time, may the force be with you.